So I've received a ton of questions about hooking things up in Interface Builder. So I want to show real quick just how you typically do this stuff. This is the object inspector down here, or the object library. So in the tutorial, you drag a uh, table view under the scene. So that's pretty much all you have to do, and you can position it however you like. Um, so that creates the table view, but we also need to reference it from code and we need its data source and delegate to be set to the view controller object or in the tutorial I think it's called search results view controller at some point. Um, so there's a couple of ways to connect it. Um, the easiest I think is to just click on the table view object and hold the control key and then click and drag to the view controller object. So it'll be the yellow object. It's also right here uh, in uh, episode 6 it's up on the top. You let go and it gives you two options, data source or delegate. We actually want both, so we're going to do it twice. Oops. And the delegate. Now this is good. Uh, it, it allows us to run the, uh, or it causes the functions um, cell for row at index path and number of rows in section and all those things to run so that it'll actually show some content. But we also need to access the table view by itself. Um, so the easiest way to do that is to just go into the assistant editor. Click there. And I'm going to, uh, let me collapse this real quick. Okay. So this is Objective-C because I have to show Xcode 5, um, but it's pretty much the same process. Click your table view, control and click on it and drag, and then release into the line of code where you want it to go, and you call it whatever you want. In our case, we called it apps table view. So now this variable is loaded up with whatever comes out of the interface builder file, which is this table view. If you don't do this, you're going to get an error that says something like optional none cannot be unwrapped. And what that means is the optional apps table view isn't set to anything. Uh, there's a couple of other ways to do this. So I'll just show you real quick. If I remove the apps table view, remove it from my file, just to kind of reset here. Um, Another way to do it is to is to basically create the variable in advance. So actually, I'm going to add this back in. But you, you use the IB outlet keyword, uh, and then you just kind of define your variable apps table view. And once you do this, Interface Builder will pick up on it, and you click on the object that the this particular view is assigned to, which is view controller. And if you look in this last tab here, uh, there's apps table view outlet, and you click. You don't have to hold control for this. Drag over to the object and just let go. So either one of those ways will work. Both of these set the apps table view variable to be set to the table view. Uh, and don't forget your data source and your delegate. Uh, that's it. I hope this helps.